Hello, fellow Bubble developers. Nikolai Markovic from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a forget password button so that your users can go and reset their passwords when they forget. Before I get to the demo, though, please give me a thumbs up if you like these videos and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Okay, for the demo here, click on forget password and then you're probably familiar with a similar uh, passwords uh, reset scenario so you enter in the the email here now in this design i'm, I'm going to walk through this custom button workflow and in a prior video i went through the standard uh, approach and this is basically bubbles standard way of doing password reset but in this video i'm going to show you a way you can customize that workflow for your own apps needs so basically in here, again, you would enter in an email and then hit the custom button here. Now I've already gone ahead and done this and created an email. Now it's not the nicest of looking emails, but for this video, I think it uh, gets the point across where you have a temp password and then a link. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to copy that, open up the URL here okay and then i'm going to go and copy the password the temporary password here okay so this is the email address and i'm going to put in the password okay so now it's got this change password so basically in this design i'm forcing the user to go upon using the temporary password to immediately go and change their password to something that they can easily remember your account has been successfully updated and there it is i'm not going to save that there okay so now the the user is logged in so let's get into the design let me just close some windows here for this the first thing i'm going to do actually uh, i'm getting ahead of myself let me get into the design before we could talk about the the database okay so on this here we have this forget password text field and it's just simply a text field here and you know, forget password i'm just gonna not type the whole thing out so in the rich text editor here all i did was you know change the color centered it and that's basically all i did for that text field now let's get into the workflow here and this workflow, all this workflow does is opens the pop-up. So if you're not familiar with that, uh, it's under element actions and then show. And then over here, we have pop-up to reset the password like that. And now let's get over to the pop-up here, pop-up reset password. And for this one, again, another simple text field here input field so if you're not familiar with the input field oops let me open up that there we go uh, the input field and i passed it right there input forms input and then for this one uh, it says here you see it says enter your email so enter your email as a placeholder bubbles default is type here one important thing is the uh, format. So the default is text, and you want to make sure you change that to email so that Bubble knows that it's an email that is being used. Uh, the other thing that I did in the design here is you'll see that I have these two boxes checked here for, uh, for enter and uh, the uh, field not to be empty. So just simply click on those. And the reason why for the enter is I've actually got two buttons on here that will execute a workflow. And so if I hit enter, then uh, I'm actually not sure exactly what Bubble will do. Uh, that might be a video for another time. Uh, but it, I want the user to either press one of these two buttons here. And for the input field not to be empty, uh, the reason for that is I don't want to start a workflow when the, uh, there's no email address to send an email to. Okay, so for the uh, button here, and let me just quickly go back to the top for button. And 
So again, buttons under visual elements. The one thing that um, I'll point out on here is I have a conditional. And so the conditional here is define another condition. When this button is hovered, I'm going to select a property to change. And the property to change is the background color. And I just simply went to choose this green color. So then that way, when you come over here and let me scroll up, when I hover over it, it just changes the background color. Okay, so for this here, uh, we want to go to the workflow. And there we go for the workflow. So the first step is assign a temporary password to a user. And the user, there's actually a search. So at this point, um, if you think about where the user is, the user is not logged into the app because they've forgotten their password. So I actually need to go and do a search for the users in the database. So I search for the users in the database based on that, uh, the email that they have entered in here. Let me move that over a little bit. So to get to this, it's basically email equals and then input enter your email value so that's how you set that up so now bubble's going to go take that input field that value and it's going to search the the database and then uh, so it's going to assign the uh, password now the next step here is to send an email and it's going to send an email based on that input value as well. Sender name, I just added these text fields in here, um, and then I just had a CC to myself. However you want to uh, set up your app is uh, perfectly fine. And then for a subject here, I just said password reset. So if you go to the email here, you can see password reset, um, who it is going to, and then CCing myself on it. And then uh, the temp password is the result from step one. So step one is the temp password being assigned. And then the link is the URL. So in this case, it is the index page. So if I go back over here, the password that bubble generates and then the link to the index page where I want the user to, to go. And then the next one is uh, in the event that the uh, user doesn't exist, then I want to say that uh, invalid user and then hide the pop-up and reset the, the data and the pop-up. So basically what this is going to do is coming back over here for a moment and it's going to reset the, the data here in this input. Make changes to a user. So reset password equals yes. And the reason why I do that is because um, if you recall from the demo, when the user logs in, then it automatically popped up with the uh, making the user change their, their password. And so I use this reset password equals yes as a way to do that. And at this time, I'm just going to jump over to the data types here for user and reset password here. And then yes or no. I set the default as no. Because, uh, again, you only want this to happen when the user is asking to change their password. So I have the default as no. And if they want to change the password, that value changes to yes. If you're not familiar with the, the fields, so it's basically, I'm just going to do test here. And then yes or no. So that's how you set that up. And come back over to the to the workflow. Let's walk through some of these steps if you're not familiar with setting them up. So assign temp password is the first one. So come under account here and let's see, where is it? Assign temp password. And then it uses that input value. And uh, my bad, actually, Anis, I meant to say we need to do the search. So search for user. And then we come over here, email equals, and then that input value, like that. And then 
you see this more it's still red it's got an issue more you want to do the first item so this basically is telling bubble to pick the first user and there should only be one user there will only be one user with that email address in the database next step is to send an email so for this one it is under email send email for this one it's that input users email address and then the other fields here so the sender name i just put uh, echo lake you can put whatever you want on yours i cc to myself and then here in the body so the first thing is the password insert dynamic data and result from step one so step one here is assign the temp password so that's what we want there and then the other item was the link and the link insert dynamic data if you scroll all the way down towards the bottom here and it is where is it this URL okay and so basically that is how the password and the link get added into the email from the workflow and then the next one show the alert and this one's element actions show message I had some uh, alerts already created on here so I was just reusing an existing one I do want to change the alert message here and just call that uh, email invalid whatever message that would work for your for your app if you're not familiar with the um, the alert here so basically you know it takes half a second uh, for it to show up and then it stays visible for two seconds and then it fades fades out next thing is to hide the hide the pop-up so for this one element actions hide and then the pop-up and then reset the pop-up so for this one it is basically element actions under group reset data and then reset that password the last step make changes to the user so that's under data making a change to thing and the thing is I did a create wrong one uh, data make changes to thing and then for this one here you'll see that still that's because the user isn't logged in still I have to go and do that same search here now a quick trick on this one is if I highlight it and I either right click or if you're on a on a Mac use the uh, the touchpad with two fingers and do copy expression and then over here click on that and same thing right click or on a Mac uh, on the keypad or the uh, touchpad uh, paste expression so that's a little trick there for you and um, actually I'm just going to stay in this step here so reset and I can oops didn't mean to do that here and there we go so for this um, it is reset password and then the value yes and with this since it was a, uh, a yes or no selection bubble will automatically tell you that it's only yes or no so that's how you set this workflow up okay now the user they will log in and when they log in let me just jump down here when they log in okay and what we have here is um, let's see here make sure that I've got this set up correctly I got the right one okay a lot of buttons on here so for this one okay the user is logged in now basically on this one I want to make sure that the user is logged out so you see here I actually have another login when the user is logged in but for the user when they're logged out so they're going to get the link they're going to click on it they're going to come to this page and they're going to type in their username and their password so they're not logged in yet so they're still logged out I'm going to set a state here and I'll put the link in for this design because this let me just do a refresh here um, I'm actually using a uh, login design from a, a, another 
uh, video. And again, I'll put the link in. And so when I log in here, it actually comes up with a, a couple of different uh, groups that become visible. And in this here, this set state, I'm basically doing that. I'm, I'm assigning a value to this uh, group so that the user uh, group shows up. But more importantly, uh, these next few steps uh, for changing the password. So log in the user, and basically, again, their, their input for the, their login uh, username, uh, the email, and then for the password here, and then stay logged in and remember the email. So those are, are yes. That way, when they refresh the screen and so forth, that they'll stay in uh, logged into the app. Uh, reset the group. Um, so basically, after they've logged in, reset the input fields. Now, this, this is a critical part of this design here. So uh, want to do a show the pop-up of change the password when the current user's reset password is yes. So if you recall from the earlier workflow, when we sent this email here, part of that workflow was for setting this value of pass reset password to yes, okay? And what that's basically going to do is Bubble will see that uh, it's set to yes and open up a password or rather a pop-up to change the password. So kind of quickly going through for you here, uh, for the first step, again, I'll have the link for, for this, this design, um, but it's under element actions, and then it's set state, and on here um, I have for index, and I think it was page group and user, you just type that in. Now be aware with bubble, it is case sensitive, so user with a capital U and user with lowercase, those are two different values from a, from Bubble's perspective. But that's how you basically set up that step here. And again, for your purposes, um, you can probably ignore this first step. Um, it's really the, the login, the user. And for this one, uh, it is under account, uh, log the user in. And then we have the input username value, and then the password, password value. Again, these values are from here. And then we have the reset group. So that one is under element actions, group, reset data, and then the group which I don't recall which one it was, uh, group maybe account info, let's see, group login, so group login is the one, so group login. And that's how you set that one up, or I guess it's login page, again, I've got a lot of different designs on this page here. And then the last one here is the show the pop-up, so element actions, show, and then the pop-up is to change password. And I've got this only when. So for that, only when current user and then reset password is yes. Like that. So that's how you set up this workflow. All right, the next step of it all is to the go to the, the reset password uh, let's see, to change password here. Okay, so another pop-up. I've got three inputs on here, and they all look pretty much the same. And basically, again, for, for this, we've got the input here. So input for all of these. And again, just as a reminder, make sure that you have the formats on here set up correctly. So in this case, it's password, and this one's password and password. And check off that they should all, uh, should not be empty as well. And then we have the enter workflow here. Click on that, and here we go. So update the user's credentials. So basically what we're doing here is we're updating uh, the password. So their old password, so their input. And I think it was this one here, our current password. And then new password value. 
and then confirmation. So a couple of things with Bubble here is that um, it doesn't you don't have to require a confirmation for password. I think it's good practice uh, to confirm password and then uh, change password here. So you have the choice between you can change the email, you can change the password, uh, you can do both. Uh, in this video, we're just changing the password. So just selecting the change password, make changes to the user. So now that they've changed their password, we want to go and make the reset password back to no versus having it set at yes. Reset the inputs and hide the pop up. All right. So for updating the user's uh, credentials, so update user's credentials here under account. And for this one, the old password. And um, again, I don't think I guess current passwords value. And then we're changing the password. And for this one, new password value. We want to require confirmation. And for that one, it is uh, verify. So that's how you set up that step and make changes to user. So for that, it's under data, make changes to a thing. It's going to be current user because at this point, we're already logged in. The user is, is logged in. So for this, it is reset password equals no. And then reset rel uh, relevant inputs and uh, password. Again, for these, it's just both of these are under element actions, uh, reset data and then hide the, the pop-up. So that's how you get to those uh, two steps. And basically that, that completes the, the, uh, the design here so that it forces the user um, to go and when they log in with the temporary password, this forces them to go in and log in or rather to go and change their password to whatever they would like. Again, if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. I do have one more video that I'm going to be creating on changing a password. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. And again, I appreciate you staying for to the end here. Thank you.